Hi, my name is Carolina Gonzalez. I go to the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. I'm in the MD MPH tract and I am a second year student graduating in the class of 2020. So some of the challenges that I found studying for US, US, the USMLEs has been trying to really remember everything that I've learned these past two years because I read first aid and first aid doesn't really explain pathophys or mechanisms of action. They just kind of state facts. So I felt that one of the biggest challenges was remembering what 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 goes behind those facts and i found a lot of the videos and this course really helpful for that because uh dr adelecki explains everything really really thorough and it helps you remember you know the information you once knew so i used mass usmle to study for my step one board exams and how i used the course was i would follow the pages in first aid and then watch the videos that pertain to that topic in the Smash USMLE website and then I would annotate my first aid book and then um, write stuff there that first aid didn't have listed. As a student I feel that Smash USMLE is different in other courses is because you have the, the all the videos are basically are live and taught by Dr. Adelecki, whereas other resources kind of just have uh, videos that are written through a tablet. That's not really a person there teaching you and writing everything step by step, which I think has really helped me with remembering the different associations and diseases. And I don't think any other, any other course is really like that, that has a person that teach you step by step everything, unless you go in person. But with these videos, you have access to them all the time and you're able to go back and see them again and refresh any information that you've forgotten. So there's some advice that I would have to other students that are considering uh, getting this Master SMLE course is definitely get it. Um, but also definitely use first aid. So I think what I found most helpful was reading first aid and then watching the video side by side. And it's a great, great resource because you'll really, really understand what first aid says because you really learn things that you maybe forgot two years ago. And then the course and all the videos are so well explained that I feel like it's the best resource and I would recommend it 100% for everyone who's studying for step one. And I'm sure it's just as good for step two and any other review course.